Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the five most important factors that you need to consider before buying yourself a new car. And these are the factors that I think are the most important ones that you need to consider. So guys, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So guys, the first factor that you need to consider is the usage of a car. The usage of your car depends upon where you will be driving the car, uh, it depends upon the road or on-road or off-road you will be driving. It can also be subdivided into two categories that is short distance and long distance. If you are driving the car for a shorter distance you need a car whose average is not that great it is fine then you can make do with it but if you are driving for a longer distance you need a car whose average is more and you need a car which is more comfortable. The second important factor that you need to consider is the comfort level of your car. The comfort level of your car doesn't depend upon the suspension that it uses but it also depends upon the type of tires that are used, the cushioning and the padding of the seats which help the increasing the experience a bit more and help the car be more comfortable. is a very important factor and I personally think people neglect this a lot and you need to take it into consideration. The steering weight of a car helps increase in the driving experience uh, significantly. If the steering weight of a car is light then the car becomes more comfortable to drive, more maneuverable. If the steering weight of the car is a bit higher on the higher side then the steering maneuverability of the car becomes a tad bit more difficult and also it, as an added bonus you get a lot of pain in the arms. factor that you need to consider is the practicality of the car. The factors that contribute to the practicality of a car is the size of the car, the turning radius, the number of seats available and many more but the most important one is the boot space of the car. If the boot space of a car is a bit on the higher side then you will end up putting a lot of luggage in the back, so in the boot of the car and also making a lot of room for the passengers and in turn helping them be more comfortable and the ride being more easier. The fifth and the last factor that you need to consider before buying yourself a car is the average. For the folks out there who don't want to waste a lot of time on refueling and spend a lot of money on filling fuel as the prices of fuel have skyrocketed these days, this is a very important factor. The average of a car claimed by the company is pretty high compared to the on-road average that you get in real time and there are various ways that you can increase the average of your car and get the figures that you want. The, the first most important one is that you need to accelerate and brake slowly, also cruising for for as long as possible this will help you achieve the figures that you want for your average so guys i hope this video was helpful for you for people out there who want to go for buying a new car right now and don't know what to consider so this is an important video and if you liked it guys be sure to like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel also be sure to follow me on instagram to see the various reels and uploads that i do so guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video until the next one i'll see you guys very soon peace